I always had a just a strong sense of right and wrong and I was initially interested in being an attorney but as I was going through college I'm kind of driven and I couldn't relax on the weekends I always felt like I should be doing more and I thought gosh if I become an attorney I'm always going to want to be prepping you know for my next case or hearing so at one point after college I was managing apartment complexes and a guy came in and he was with a probation department looking for somebody and I thought well, that'd be kind of neat, you know, trying to track people down. And he told me, he was real forthright and said, hey, if you want to track people down, you need to look at the U.S. Marshal Service. So that was way before the days of Google. But I got to research in it and uh, interviewed and was blessed enough to get the job. I think for me, one of the... One of the neatest opportunities I had was I got to go to Washington, D.C. for 12 weeks uh, and run two operations and that resulted in the largest apprehension of fugitives ever in the history of the United States. And that was a pretty big deal. Um, and I was so happy that, that headquarters allowed me that opportunity. Um, but I think, you know, I don't know. I'm in a happy spot right now. I... I think this job is one of the greatest gifts God ever put in front of me. I get to come to work every day with people that I really respect and admire and are a joy to be around. Um, it's hard work, but we laugh a lot. We care about each other. And, and that's a blessing. When you drive to work every day and you're excited to get there, um, that's a blessing. For me personally, and I, I'm not out on the street like I used to be, but for me, there is not a better feeling in the world than putting the handcuffs on a sex offender who has hurt a child. There's nothing like it. There's no amount of pay or bonus or award you could give me that would ever compare to that feeling. Um, in my 20s and early 30s, I didn't turn down an assignment. I traveled the world. I got to go and do. And then as soon as you have a baby, it changes. I cried my entire way into work my first day back after having her. But I also know what we do, it matters. It keeps children safe. And so if I need to leave my home and be involved in keeping kids safe, it's worth it. I think it's a lot more dangerous. I think there's a lot more um, resistance to the police now. And it, it makes me really sad to see the way people have turned on the police. I, I know that I'm sure there are some bad apples out there, but I know we don't have any in our office. Everybody came into this job for the right reasons. Um, so it makes me sad that law enforcement overall is getting judged on the actions of a few.